up? It is Roy here, AKA the Lone Star Boss. And I wanted to come on here and do a little series of videos involving fishing lures. Uh, what I'd like to do is make these videos short, simple, to the point, kind of uh, explain the lures, describe the lures, show you the rigging, how, how I like to use them, uh, what they're, how to, you know, be effective with them. Um, so I decided today I'm gonna do my first little video, throw this out there. Um, I'm gonna start with a lure that I have great success with every time I throw it. Matter of fact, there's another video on YouTube. You'll find it, it's called Catching Big Bass All Day with a Glow Pro GP1. That is the lure I'm gonna start with today. It's the Glow Pro Lures GP1. Um, it is a, become one of my go-tos. It's absolutely one of my favorite lures in my, in my tackle box. I throw it all the time. It's got many different um, abilities. Uh, and it's really, really easy to work. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you that lure and kind of go through everything. Uh, I'll make sure in the video somewhere I'll put a link to Glow Pro's website. Uh, make sure y'all get with them. They're a veteran run company based right here in the great old USA. Um, he'll be happy to earn your business. You won't regret it. Uh, so let's get started and show you this lure. Okay, here is the Glow Pro GP1 that I was telling you about. This is a four and a half inch, fairly shallow diving crankbait, as you can see there. Look at the colors on that, beautiful colors, nice eye pattern there. You can see the weights inside. These hooks are super sharp, y'all. I don't think I've lost a fish yet on one of these hooks. They are super, super, just razor sharp all the time. They uh, never seem to go dull. I've yet to straighten one out. They're great hooks. Um, you can see here, there's the, you know nice little eye there. And overall, you can just see the lure. It's a beautiful, Nice little neutral tone, just got a little bit of you know the brownish in there, you know the nice black back, bronze back, almost looks like a little small mouth or something you would see in the water. Uh, nice clear belly there. So, anyways, Glow Pro has really revolutionized um, parts of fishing, and some of the products they put out, they're phenomenal. They do stuff that no other lure can do um, in several ways. One, Glow Pro lures have the option to put a glow stick inside the lure. It's a little small glow stick. You can crack that glow stick, slide it inside this lure, and add illumination to your lure. Uh, the cool thing about that is if you're fishing after dark, fishing murky waters, whatever, you're going to increase the visibility of this lure. So then, not only are you working with sound, working with motion, but you're going to have light as well, and that's going to draw those fish's attention. Uh, it works really, really well. I use it all the time. It's a lot of fun, too, to fish with it after dark and you can see that lure under the water. It's really cool when you can see a big old fish hit it. Um, another aspect of the Glow Pro GP1 is the ability to add water to the lure body itself. Um, each lure has a little plug on top like this, you can see. Uh, each lure is included, and they include a stick pin for you to be able to pop it in there and pop that rubber plug out add uh, water to the lure to adjust the buoyancy of the lure. Um, so it's the variable depth control is what they call it. And y'all, it works. It works phenomenal. Um, this lure, it, the great thing about it is I can take this lure, tie it on right now, throw it out there, run a couple of feet deep and, and, and catch bass. And it draws bass up, it catches bass. But for those times where the fish aren't in that zone, I'm just not quite getting the bite that I want. All I have to do is pop this plug off, add some water to the body of the lure, throw it back in and I'm automatically lowering the depth of this lure. So it is a, a phenomenal lure, phenomenal design. It runs great in the water. Uh, I love that the eye hook isn't the little oval. It's a nice little circle there. Um, just tie on really anywhere in there. You're not gonna go wrong because it's not gonna sit there and twist on you. Your eye is gonna sit and you're gonna have a nice round uh, eye to circle through this uh, eye hook here. Uh, of course, like any other crankbait, if, if it's running a little left, a little right, you can always adjust it very simply just by adjusting this left or right to go the opposite direction that you need. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the stick pins that come in them, the stick pins are great, but what I end up doing when I'm fishing, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm probably like everybody else, you always have a hook or two that you've cut off somewhere. So what I like to do is I'll just take that hook real quick. I, I literally will pop that hook right there and pull that plug off. There's that plug, you can see it. Now you see the open cavity on the back of the lure. I'll take that lure, put the glow stick in, add the water, whatever I decide to do. And then it is literally as simple as boom, there's the plug, I add the plug back to the lure. And uh, of course it's never as simple you want when you want to show somebody. But anyways, there it is and it's done that quick. So that quick, I could have just taken that off, added water, added the plug back in and been fishing again. Changed my depth, changed my look, whatever you want to do with this lure, it's phenomenal. Um, so anyways, that is the 
functions of the Glow Pro GP1. They have the Glow Pro GP2, which is a larger bill, deeper diving crankbait. Um, they have frogs, they have crawls, they've got worms, they've got micros, they've got everything you could possibly need to go fishing. You could fill a tackle box of Glow Pros and be successful on any body of water. I firmly believe that. Um, but what I'm going to show you next is simply the rigging of the lure onto the pole, show you how I throw it, and that's about it. Uh, so here's what we like to do. So what I've got here is my Lose Laser TXS. Um, it's a nice 12 pound uh, trilene line. So all I'm gonna do real simply is I'm gonna take my line, got it right here. Now, of course, I actually need to clean this line up. I can feel some, some roughness in here where I've done some fishing with it. Uh, but all I do is I simply take that lure, I flip it upside down, I run that through the eye. And everybody's got different, different knots they like to tie. That's perfectly fine. Make sure my line is good and tight as I'm doing this. So I'm gonna lean that pole properly. There we go. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it and tie it at the same time. So I'm going to run that bad line through there. So I'm not running bad line and getting it, letting it break later. Uh, I like to give it usually about seven or eight twists around the line. Uh, creates a good strong knot, keeps it from going anywhere. I then take that line, simply run that line back through its own hole at the bottom. As you get older and your eyes get, uh, Less that gets a little more difficult, but hey, ta-da! Not done, and that knot is done. I like to cinch that knot down a little bit with my fingers. I'll take take it between my two fingers here, just simply tighten the line. I pull in the lure, cinch that knot down, and that knot's not going anywhere. I bite off the excess, and there we go. My lure is ready to go. Uh, so as you can see there, it's on it's on the line. Now I'm ready to cast. Uh, Real simple, everybody knows how to cast, I hope, if you're watching this. If you don't know how to cast, then uh, ask me and maybe I'll do a casting video. But that lure is rigged up, ready to go on this pole, and I'm ready to catch fish. Um, this lure obviously can be a straight retrieve lure. You can throw it out there, reel it in. It's gonna give you a nice wobble action, come through that water. Um, like I said, depending on how much water you have in the lure will determine the depth that you run it at. Um, but what I personally prefer to do, what I have seen more success with with this lure is more of a stop and retrieve, more of a jerk bait type action rather than a steady retrieve. I'll cast this lure out there. Uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna you know sit generally towards the top because it's not gonna just immediately sink. As I start to retrieve, it's gonna waddle down, and then as it's coming in, what I like to do is I'll get it going. I'll stop it real quick, just kind of let it, and then as it starts to go, I'll just give it two to three quick twitches. Just pop, pop, pop as it's coming in. That's dropping, you know, it's kind of jerking that lure down. So instead of just the steady retrieve coming in, you're getting just that little kick where that lure is doing like this as it's going down. Give it a couple of those switches, reel it some more, some more pop. And then if you want a little bit quicker of a retrieve, you can just kind of, I, I, what I like to do is reel. And as I'm reeling, just twitch that lure. Just pop that, twitch that lure under the water as I'm reeling it in, just to give it a little extra motion. I have great success with this lure, y'all. I've caught countless bass on this lure. Uh, I've caught crappie on this lure. I've caught a striper on this. I've caught stripers on this lure. Um, I've even caught redfish on this lure. Uh, it works. Period. It works on any fish. So I'm going to sign off this video with this. This is the first of these lure videos where we're going to get better. Uh, hopefully they will get a little bit shorter and you can keep your attention a little bit more. But uh, I want to encourage everybody to be sure to go check out Glow Pro Lures at glowprolures.com. Reach out to Patrick. Let him know that Roy sent you. Team Lone Star Brothers. Uh, the Lone Star Boss. That's myself here. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hope to see you again. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow Glow Pro Lures. Uh, check us out on all the social medias. You can find us on any of them. Lone Star Brothers and Lone Star Boss. You can find that on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, and all that fun stuff. Be sure to find us there. Be sure to find Glow Pro. Y'all give them a follow. Uh, hope you liked this first video. There will be many more to come with many different lures and setups. I know we're going to be doing a Ned rig real soon and a few other things. So, be sure to stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you on the water. Let's go fishing.